My name's Jesse Hawila. I'm a meteorologist here at WFAA, and I've been a storm chaser for about a decade now. And our last chase was April 21st here in North Texas. It's no secret, storms are beautiful. Some of the things we got, the time lapses, the photos, the videos that we grabbed while out in the field uh, were incredible. And it's nice as a meteorologist occasionally to get outside of the studio, break out into the field. It, it's kind of therapeutic. You're out in the middle of nowhere, you know, the tall grass is blowing around, you see the storm in the distance, you hear the thunder crack. Whoa! Oh, got it! You see this beautiful shelf cloud, or you see this beautiful supercell structure, a mesocyclone, and it's coming your way, and it's lit beautifully by the sun. Having radar with me in the car, and seeing the storms develop in real life. A county, there's a severe thunderstorm just off to our west. It's moving towards us very quickly. Seeing exactly what I'm supposed to see, based on what radar is showing me, uh, gives me a deeper knowledge of weather, gives me a more intimate knowledge of meteorology. And I think it's been incredibly helpful when it comes to not only severe weather forecasting, but when it comes to severe weather coverage. When we're wall to wall, you can count on us knowing exactly what we're talking about because we've seen it firsthand. I've been across towns that have been hit by tornadoes. It's really scary driving through a town that you just drove through moments ago. Yeah, where everything was still standing and now all of a sudden all the houses are in shambles, all the structures that are in the town are, are laying in the middle of the road. That's very scary, especially when you see the folks that live in those houses try to make sense of what's going on. They just were having dinner. Ten minutes later, they're crawling out of rubble of their house. That's a life-changing experience for me. I was that kid in college who was like, yes, great tornado day is possible. Let's get out and let's go storm chase. I'm really pumped about this. I don't do that anymore because I've seen what tornadoes can do firsthand. And when you see the damage they leave behind and the pain they cause people, it's not as thrilling as it used to be. It's still an exciting experience to go storm chasing, but because of the things I've seen in the past, I understand there's a much deeper meaning to it. And it's not all excitement. It's not all fun games. You're talking about people's property. You're talking about people's safety in people's lives. When it comes to meteorologists like myself and those that I work with, we do it for a reason. We want people to be safe. We want to have eyes on the storm, on the ground. We want to have eyes on radar. We want to have as many eyes on the storm as possible. What I want people to understand is, this is all part of the forecasting and warning process. We knew about the storm seven to eight days in advance. We were there when they started forming. It's monitoring the beginning stages of these thunderstorms. You're looking right now at young thunderstorms. Yeah. And we were there when they started hitting communities. If a meteorologist can get an accurate enough position to show you the severe storms and be in the tornado warning. We're gonna have to get going in a second. We're gonna have to stay ahead of this. We're gonna continue. Then you need to heed those warnings appropriately because it can save lives. We've seen it save lives. Those are the kinds of things that remind me every day why I'm a meteorologist. It's a beautiful thing. Everyone loves the weather. Everyone talks about the weather. And there's a reason for it. It's a spectacular phenomena of nature.